Well, this should be a short video, but you never know with me. Um, there's just there's been this conversation, you know, between three or four people about terminology, philosophical um, descriptions of. I don't even know what this. What do you call this? A, a kind of philosophy? I don't know. Well, anyway, it has to do with you know the materialist versus subjective versus transcendental versus blah blah. I mean, it's just such a. I mean, just I hate this rhetoric. I hate this. This 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 unnecessary effort to label and. Um, um, pigeonhole whatever the term is you know to to um, simplify um, generic arise I don't it, it's just stupid I don't see any necessity in having these terms um, every person attempts to understand the world they live in um, obviously some people are just completely out of their mind like that I am Christ crossland guy you know doesn't even think HIV has anything to do with AIDS I mean it's, oh god I don't even, ugh, not even bother there um, but yeah I mean people's philosophy is their philosophy it's their perception their viewpoint um, a large part of it is an effort if they're going to claim something or state something they're claiming it as if it is a reality as if it is their definition of the truth as they see it or believe it to be and it just, it's just I just don't see any point in this these this rhetoric these this language is being used is just so idiotic um, subjective and objective is a way of looking at things you know uh, it's it's a way of perceiving uh, one is should be by any rational person viewed with some suspicion subjective would be because it is a personal perspective it is influenced by what one would call subjective emotion and objective would be the intent would be to have a perspective or perception that is independent of any prejudices or influences that are personal um, and so that's a kind of an easy definition and this whole way of approaching language I mean I've been over this before so I'm sorry about being redundant but I mean language is is words and words are definitions and the definitions are in turn made of words which are definitions language is merely a, a process of conveying definitions to one another meaning understanding um, uh, however you want to define what a definition is a qualifying statement that um, explains or describes something's reality and uh, you know I, I mean just even turn language into mush I mean it just it's all this stuff is just mush I mean I, this is a, I, you know I don't even know where to chime in on the argument what side I would even argue on because it's, the argument is so convoluted and and pointless I, I just oh I'm sorry it's just really irritating um, I don't know how anybody could ever describe reality or even have a philosophical discussion if if you have to argue from one of these stupid points of view that have no don't mean anything what because somebody wrote a book 400 years ago and called something something uh, we all have to stick with that definition I mean, just look how much, look just how much trouble it causes in politics to have these stupid liberal conservative labels when you're really talking about different things. There's economic conservatives and there's social conservatives. There's liberals on the social side and there's liberals on the economic side. I mean, it's, you know, it's, there's just no point in these labels. So anyway, that's, uh, that's the extent of my point, I guess. I'm just, it's just irritating to hear all this high-minded philosophical um, discussion and it's just turned into mush because the the framework that the argument's got to take place in doesn't doesn't mean anything it's the rules are bizarre so that's my take on it there's one reality out there and to be described and that's really the objective of a philosopher I would think is to describe reality and uh, you know, not um, 
not waste time with idiotic questions like, well, we can't prove everybody else isn't conscious, and just because I'm conscious, it doesn't prove they're conscious, and, you know, and then starting splitting hairs and splitting words into, you know, these precise definitions when, I mean, definitions should be reliable, um, but, you know, some things you can take literally and some things you have to take metaphorically. Um, as a concept, and you know, it's just stupid to, uh, to, to, it's just a stupid conversation. Sorry, this is a pointless video. I'm just, it's just irritating to watch four or five videos and come away from it with nothing of value.